Hey guys, Common Villager here, and welcome back to Let's Play Kingsfield 2. Um, well, a lot of things have happened these past few episodes. It's been a couple of episodes in the Royal Cemetery, which is near the end point of the game. Uh, we got a really cool sword from that place, Ceased Sword, which is just a beautiful weapon. Um, one of the most awesome swords in the Kingsfield universe. Um, can't wait till I can unleash its power, but right now, uh, we there's still some things we have to do. We still have to revive the uh, Moonlight Sword, which is broken, of course. We know about that from the intro to the game, that the Moonlight Sword, which was, if you followed along on the Kingsfield 1 series, you know that this was the sword that was guarded by... Uh, Gyra the dragon and now Gyra wishes to have the blade restored uh, also it is necessary uh, to uh, actually beat the game so we will have to go and uh, have that uh, done eventually I don't think we're ready yet but um as you can uh, also I got uh, there's so much I got to say here um uh, last episode the X selector sword finally grew to its full stage um, also we had also all the parts of Icarus the wings the crown the eye and we brought the X selector the parts of Icarus all we brought them all back to Leon and now he, Leon is actually working on I wonder what he did with the sword he doesn't show what he did with the sword. But anyway, we're going to leave Leon alone. He's busy. It's going to take him a while to build the key of Icarus, which is what we need uh, to beat the game with, which is uh, one, of the, one of the key items anyway. So we have no way to fast travel. Um, so we're going to slow down. We're going to kind of trace our steps and go to places we haven't been yet, which isn't very many places, but... Um, this place right here we haven't really been to. It's kind of dangerous and I hope I don't get killed. <laughs> but there is something really valuable. Um, I don't know if the chest inside here is locked but there is a chest uh, hidden in this uh, little place. This little, I don't know what you call it, a dungeon or whatever. Um, let's see, there's a, there's a moonstone in there. I'll take that for sure. Um, I better get, let's see, what's my stat? Well, 43 blow. We'll go ahead and uh, equip the, uh, let's see, what do we got? Morgulane, that's for uh, Slash, Battle Axe. We'll go ahead and equip the Capricorn. I don't think we got anything better. The full-grown uh, Icarus, or uh, X Selector Sword has pretty good uh, uh, blow strength, I guess you could say. Uh, but we'll use the Capricorn for now since uh, we will probably be fighting skeletons in here. So I'm going to be careful and try to find the secret doors in this place. I already found one of the traps, so uh, just got to be careful here. You can get some early on treasure here if you're careful. There is like a treasure chest over here, I'm pretty sure. Like here's a shield, that, which I didn't even think to grab. I think there's another shield somewhere else too, but whatever. Um, I think there's a door somewhere around here. I think the best way to do this is just to tap your button, not just continually press it, because uh, you could end up falling into a trap. Now, I think if I'm not mistaken, somewhere around here there's a hallway. And there's also a lot of spear trap things like we saw earlier, so got to be careful. So, somewhere around here is a uh, hallway. Okay, yeah, here it is. Now, I don't know what all is around here. I don't know if the pixie map will even show anything or not. I'm going to say probably not, no. Well, yeah, it has picked up a few things. So, I don't know what all is around here. You do have to be careful, though, because there are a lot of uh, traps and stuff. Let's see here. That will require the silver key. 
Oh. Oh, hello. Uh, what kind of magic do we got? Fireball? Yeah, sure. There we go. Well, this is an interesting shield. I've forgotten about this shield. Let's see here. I got the Earth Shield, the High Elves Guard. This is the shield handed down in the High Elves Village for centuries. So, uh, just to recap, we are in uh, the Village of Quist, which is the Village of the High Elves. So, anyway, it says the shield handed down for uh, handed down in the High Elves Village for centuries. It has the artwork of the Feather of Seath on it. Now, if you remember from Kingsfield 1, um, there were actually items called uh, the uh, Feather of Seath, and you could actually use them. I think they uh, gave you a, a region on uh, uh, your Magicka. They filled it up. I think it filled it up all the way, and it, it, it uh, either raised it or it, it gave a region on it or something like that. But anyway... Um, let's see here. What is our defense? Well, the only thing about the earth earth shield the earth shield will recover uh, Stuff while we rock, but let's just check out our stats real quick Let's see here. No Yeah, there we go so 81 87 57 86 so this is better now the earth shield did give us a, a boost against earth magic but it's really not that big big of a deal so we'll go ahead and take the actual uh, melee defense bonus for sure so somewhere along here is a uh, oh ow ow traps <laughs> I didn't eat. you know I heard the skeleton but I was like uh, you know he's nowhere near earth he's, he's nowhere around you know uh, let's see. I know there's a door here. Here we go. This is one of the royal treasures. I'm pretty sure it's locked. Yeah. What we need is the royal key. We do not have the royal key yet. Um, but once we get it, we can open that chest. There's a really cool item inside there. It's uh, going to be cool to come back to. But I just want to show you guys this place because we... Uh, do need to get the royal key now to find my way out of here, which I don't remember exactly which door it was. I think it was all one straight. Yeah, one straight line. That's right. And then I think over here. So we do need to go get the royal key. The royal key is in a very dangerous place. <laughs> Trust me. If you remember the episode where we went and took a peek at that one dungeon that had the spears coming out of the walls and the uh the big giant saw blade um yeah that's the one so <laughs> um that is uh how you get the royal key also we need to go and see jens the blacksmith because if he's actually uh done working on our piece of promius armor uh because we have one more piece of uh promius that we can turn into a piece of armor. Also, in last episode, um, we did buy some more uh, crystal flasks from the gravekeeper uh, in the uh, graveyard thing near near this village. I forgot the name of it, but whatever. Real quick, like I'm going to come over here and just save the game. Alrighty, let's uh, get out of here. We're going to go to the graveyard now. Um, I think we might go to Relugo, and we might, uh, I think this is probably still sealed. I forgot what you have to have, I don't know if you have to have the Key of Icarus or what. Do you have to like slash this or something? Yeah, and that might open the chest. Oh yeah, this sword, oh I forgot about this sword, we could have had this early on. Well, it won't do us any good now, but I, I uh, early on you could probably get this sword. Um, it's nowhere near as powerful as the stuff we have, but there, the Silverion is still a pretty cool sword. Let's see. Let's check out its stats. 
Not a bad sword, really, for the beginning of the game. So, yeah. I totally forgot about that one. It's been so long since I've actually played through the whole game and everything. So we were using a Capricorn. We're going to get the Sea Sword back out. It's a really awesome sword. Slash damage is just incredible. Um, so, let's go ahead and we will head through the graveyard. We'll go... I don't see anywhere else around here we could go to right now. We do need to get the Royal Key, which is uh, going to help us to unlock some even more items. I do want to go check out the Earth Cave. Um, I want to see if I need to kill any more golems. I'm thinking maybe I do, but we'll go ahead. We may go to Relugo and go to the Earth Cave. We'll either do that or we'll go... Well, we could go to the Path of Poison. Only thing is, we don't have any uh, Orladen's keys, so going to the Path of Poison would be kind of useless right now. However, um, later on we could get some Orladen's key. Right now we don't have hardly any any money to buy some. We might. I've been thinking about selling some weapons to this guy that I really don't use, but I don't know yet. Because I do like my magical swords, even though they're worth a lot of money. I mean, the cool thing about selling stuff to the Gravekeeper is that you can eventually buy them back if you want to. You know, that kind of thing. I don't really need to save so much right now. So let's go ahead and we'll head this way. Um, still can't get through here. I think it's because... I, th I know why now. It's because I don't have a Silverian's Key. Once Leon has made the Key of Icarus, traveling will be so much easier, let me tell you. Um, even better than using the parts of Icarus, which could warp you to certain places. Yeah, just wait till we get to that point. So, let's see, what could we sell to this guy? Because if we could buy a couple Orladen's keys, that would really help. I've heard of your works in this miserable beast-infested kingdom. Yeah, people like you come along occasionally, peddling hope for a better future. I hope you can bring peace to this place. Let's see, what could we sell? We can't sell that. You know, what? the, the Silverian, it's a good sword, but we really don't need it. We'll sell that. I don't want to sell the magical swords, but anything else, the rapier, we really don't need. Of course, we're going to keep the Capricorn, the Valusia sword. Vaculatia sword. That's hard to pronounce. Definitely keeping that. Uh, we really don't... Since we have the Elkaris bow, we really don't need the large bow. So we could sell... Let's see. We could sell both of those. Let's sell Morning Stars. I don't know what this Silence Rod does. I don't think I ever figured out how to use it. But I don't think its use is very good. So I'm going to sell it. If I really need it later on, I could buy it back somehow. But I'm just going to sell it for now to get the money. Oh, it's almost like a pawn shop. You could like you can uh, sell stuff and then uh, the dragon head. Where, what are we? Uh, let's see. What are we using as armor? We're using the groundel crown. So we'll go ahead and sell the dragon head. It's worth a lot. Plus. Um, Let's see, what does he have to say? Uh, maybe you can manage to stay alive long enough to do some good. That's been the problem with the others. They either disappear or die. Please be careful. Don't get yourself killed too. Right. So let's sell. We'll sell the dragon head. I'm not going to sell the Promius armor, even though it's worth a lot. We'll sell these. We're really rolling in the money now, but, you know. It's because, I mean, a lot of this stuff is really overpowered Raijin. That's a nice price for that, but nah. Uh, no, we need the Aquarian Boots. <laughs> we can't sell those. No, we're definitely not selling the Pixies map. <laughs> Let's see. Dragon Crystals are worth a lot. Now, if you remember in Kingsfield 1, you could actually, there was actually trees that grew the dragon crystals but in this game there is no such place or thing if I'm not mistaken there may be 
Anyone in the comments, if anyone knows, just let me know in the comments. It's just been a while. Um, so yeah, we could sell crystal flats, but we're going to keep the crystal flats. You can sell the Promius, but we're going to have that made into armor. You can't even sell the Moonlight Sword. So, yeah, let's see. Anything else? I'm going to probably say no. Yep, that's it. That's going to give us enough, though, to probably buy some more Aladdin's keys. So we could probably go... Uh, we'll go see Jens the Blacksmith. Um, gosh, we're going to have to go all the way over here. No fast travel right now because we don't have access to it. Because Leon has to have all the parts of the Icarus key. He has to have uh, the Exelector, which is not really necessary now for us because uh, we have uh, we have the uh, all the better swords now. Now, uh, Exelector is a pretty cool sword. Uh, it's definitely got some good blow damage, which is nice really good for you know skeletons and that kind of stuff but it it kind of sucks because it's like it's a good sword but it's like by the time you uh, get the key of Icarus and re and what happens when you uh, have the key of Icarus the the ex selector sword will return to its uh, uh, baby stage I guess you could say it's uh, it's uh, it's a uh, you know beginning stage you know so it's like it doesn't really matter at that point so I mean even if you regrow the X selector again you're already probably going to have some of the best swords in the game anyway so yeah I just wanted to mention that um, so anyway there's so much I want to say but I don't want to reveal any spoilers or anything you know I don't want to I don't want any spoilers, so um, yeah, let's go ahead. Actually, real quick, this might late. Well, this might make life easier for next time if I need to come through here. We'll go ahead and we'll put a Silverius key right here. So if we need to come here for any reason, we can because we got all the Severius keys we need for anything now because we've already explored the dungeons and the barracks and all that stuff gotten just about everything we can get let's see well we'll go ahead and restore our HP I didn't mean to come here though actually there's a save point I'll go ahead and use real quick just uh, kinda save our progress Alrighty, so let's uh, head to the barracks wherever they are. It's been a while. I will definitely find it eventually if I keep my eyes open. <laughs> uh, let's see, I think it's around the corner over here, if I'm not mistaken. No, that's the way to the other door. I was actually supposed to go this way. So I have definitely been excited to play this game again, to be able to record it because ever since I uh, beat the first Kingsfield and recorded which was one of my first let's plays on my YouTube channel and I had definitely been wanting to come to this game and I do want to eventually come back to the original Kingsfield and if I can find a working copy of Kingsfield 3 technically Kingsfield 4 uh, I would like to play through that one again that's a really cool game um, there are other Kingsville games I haven't played. The one on PSP I've not played. Um, there are other ones that I don't... There's actually uh, a creation kit for... Uh, to make Kingsfield games. Um, I would like to play some of those eventually. So, even though the Kingsfield games are kind of gone, sort of, uh, you can still kind of enjoy the experience with uh, some uh, homebrew type Kingsville games, which I have played some. There is one I would like to play, um, which involves uh, returning to the island of Marinette, which is uh, where Kingsfield 1 uh, takes place, which is, uh, of course, my very one of my very first Kingsfield Let's Plays. 
All right, so we're here in the force maze. We need to go to Ralugo. I want to fill my flask up for sure. So let's see here. Let's go this way. Now let's get our pixie map. I'm sure we've explored just about everything over here. Yeah. We've covered the... Now there may be a few places here that we haven't discovered. Um, I kind of sort of want to reveal a little bit about the end game. Um, there are like two final bosses. Um, I only want to do the first one because uh, there's a certain weapon you can find. I'm not going to reveal what it is. Um, but I would like to be able to enjoy having that weapon for a while before I actually beat the game in its entirety and try to leave no stone uncovered. Kind of like what I did in the last Kingsfield playthrough. I do still plan on, even though it's been years, I do still plan on doing some bonus videos for that. There is a certain sword in the first Kingsfield game that, that uh, requires you to uh, hunt down certain enemies. I think I'm going to wrong way and yeah I'm totally going the wrong way there's a save point but I didn't want to go there uh let's see here where is the way where's the way to Relugo let's see I missed it somewhere go uh there's that oh okay 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 there's actually a room here we haven't there's like a, there is, I know there's a lot of stuff we haven't covered yet let's see well, real quick, since we're out and about, and we're just, you know, we don't have any way to tra the, 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 to uh, fast travel. I don't think we've actually been here yet. No, we haven't. So, might as well uh, do a little bit of that. Um, plus, another thing you got to keep in mind is um, we have not found, I think it's called the Magician's Key. Um... I'm probably going to get poisoned, but that's okay. Oh no. I, my poison resistance is 100, so I'm doing pretty good with that. So, um, Let's see here. We'll go ahead and kill all these guys. There is arrows we can uh, use. Although I think you have to have a regular bow for those. Yeah, just like one hit kill with this uh, Seath sword, man. It's so awesome. So yeah, I forgot about this big mushroom over here. We did fight a, uh, yeah, see there's even a, there's even a magician's key, uh, a chest over here. Whoa, what the, oh, a Silverius key, nice. So there was a Silverius key here the whole time that I had totally forgotten about. Let's go ahead and we will, uh, kill this guy. Of course, he's nothing now. But it would have been really hard at the beginning. Okay. Oh, this thing. It's been a while. What does this thing do? Let's see here. We've got the silver ring. What does this do? Green bracelet. When the dwarves lived in the woods, the spirits of the woods gave the dwarves this bracelet. This bracelet will increase physical strength. So, might as well put it on. Because the silver ring only protects against poison, which is not a big deal now, since we have uh, magic spells that will uh, cure poison, so, you know, we'll never run out for sure. So, let's go here. Now we need to find our way to the path that will take us to Relugo. Um, yeah, I, I do want to return to the Earth Cave, um, just to take a peek. Uh, we can't... Only thing is, we can't fast travel out of it, so I don't know if I, I mean, I want to, but I think I might wait on that until I get the Icarus key. So what we might try to work on today is getting over, we need to go back to the Path of Robbers so we can get to, um, yeah, this should take us to Relugo. We need to go through the Path of Robbers to get to where Jens the Blacksmith is. Also, I want to buy a couple Orladen skis. Probably not necessary, but um, they will come in handy for uh, a certain point in the game. 
in the path of poison there's a certain place we haven't been to yet um there's a really cool uh piece of armor we can get which is going to be really nice so let's um we're not yeah we're not going to go to the earth cave um we're going to go all the way over here to this lava river, wherever it's at. Okay. There's you, and there's this mushroom. Alrighty. You didn't drop anything. That's fine. Yeah, we'll wait for the Earth Cave when we can actually teleport, because it's actually a pain to get through all that. <laughs> I don't know, part of me wants to go back, but we'll just, for now, we won't go back yet. Oh, actually, let me, uh, do this. All right, now we got all six gold potions, which is awesome. Um, let's, uh, let's see here. We need to, yeah, we need to actually go through the Path of Poison to get to the path of robbers, to get to Jens the blacksmith, you know. This is kind of the hard part because, well, it's not really hard, it's just kind of a grindy part now because we don't have a way to fast travel. So we have to rely on traveling by foot. No shortcuts. We have to, I don't even know where I'm at right now. Let's see, let's follow the roads. Let's see, not here, but, uh, here we go. So, through the path of poison, and then we got to go to, uh, actually, let me go ahead and put that silver ring back on. Bring our uh, poison resistance back up. Someone's still looking for that key. <laughs> Let's, uh, I, I, I'm excited, man. This is We're getting to the really interesting part of the game where things are going to get really fun, going to get really challenging too, but it's going to be awesome. We're getting into the really good stuff of the game. Now this, like I've said before, I think this game is probably going to be a lot longer than the original, uh, not the original, but Kingsfield 1. Um, there's still a lot of stuff to discover even here in the Path of Poison. If we look at our Pixies map, we'll see that there's still a lot of uh, ground that we haven't uncovered yet, especially on the right hand side of the map so we will definitely have to explore that when we can we do not have any Orladen skis which we're going to try to get I want to see if I can get about three of them I mean it's not such a big deal if we find a bunch of them and 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 have you know more than we need because it's just just for the for the let's play so we can do something fun maybe find some cool armor and stuff which would be awesome. I know there's a really cool piece of armor that we can get here in the Path of Poison, but uh, to do that, we are going to have to have some more Aladdin skis. So anyway, let's be making our way to Jens the Blacksmith. I may stop here in this place and uh, save my game real quick, just because we're doing a lot of traveling on foot, and I'd hate to lose any progress by accidentally dying, so, you know. I'm going to try to do the whole travel to Jen's Blacksmith in this episode, so I won't have to do it in the next episode. So real quick, let's go ahead and uh, save. Alrighty, so we did that. Let's, uh, let's see here. Okay, we're going to have to equip the... Uh, other boots. There we go. And we're going to have to make our way over to the Path of Robbers. So we can uh, go see Jens. He's probably got our armor ready. Plus there's another dwarf there we want to talk to about buying some uh, Orladen's keys. Okay, got that guy. Yeah, like I said, once we get the Magician's Key, we're going to have to do a lot of backtracking. There's a lot of uh, chests uh, to open after that. And I mean all over the place. So that will be one thing to do um, when we actually get there. 
Um, I may or may not go back to the Earth Cave. We'll see. It just depends on how how curious I get about it, if I want to go back there or not. So let's go this way. We'll go, I think we cut through here, right? Or this this might be to the save point. No, 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 no. I think this is it. No, that is a save point. Let's just forget about that save point for now. We'll head back this way because we need to go to the Path of Robbers. We need to do all that stuff to get to Jens the Blacksmith, which I would think by now he was he should have our uh, new helmet ready. I don't know how good the Promius helmet will be compared to the Groundle Crown, but if I have to lose any magical effects with the Groundle Crown, then I may just have it just to collect, just to have. We do have the chest plate. There's the helmet. There's the, I think, uh, boots and gloves. I think that's it. I don't think there's a shield. Of course, you can't have any uh, Promius weapons because Jens doesn't make any weapons. So let's see. Okay, straight ahead and then take a right and then go all the way down. Let's see here. Straight ahead. I think we take a right. No, 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 no. Straight ahead over here, and then we'll take a right this way. Avoid the skellies. And we're going to come around this way, right? Yep. Having to do a lot of traveling on foot. Of course, even when we had the parts of the Icarus key, we still had to do a lot of traveling on foot. But, um... Okay, not here. Uh, but once we have the Icarus key itself, trust me, traveling will be so much easier. Let's see here. Uh, okay, here we go. Yeah, this is where we need to go. And I gotta make sure that when I go through here, that um, the way to his blacksmith shop is just like right right there right by the right by the stairs which I do forget about because it has been forever so let's see here should be like right over here somewhere yeah here we go so go here see Jen see if he's made our armor yet let's go talk to him So, what are you going to do with it? Of course, you can sell it or do whatever you please with it. I was just curious. It does seem fitting for you to have it, though. Well, good luck to you, sir. So, now we have the Promius helmet. I didn't know that Promius was still found in this country. You may encounter go golems occasionally. Shaddam, Archmage of Earth, created the golems in order to search for Promius. Lazy bum. If the golem discovers Promius, it will turn gray and will be called Promius Golem. What? You found another one? Man, you're really pushing this uh, promise thing here. Okay, okay. I admit I love to work with Promius anyway. See you in a while. So we have the helmet, we have the armor, oh, so, so there is a shield, hands, and boots. We'll go ahead, let's, yeah, let's make the shield. Make the shield. So I, I don't know, see that's why I want to go to the Earth Cave, but I don't know if we've killed all the golems or not. Uh, but I do want to stop by and see the other dwarf, let me check my Pixies map and see where that shop might be located. Okay, gotta go all the way over here. I'm gonna do this real quick. We're gonna pray in the episode after I buy a few Orladen's keys. And the next episode, we're gonna head to the Path of Poison. Hopefully we're not weak enough to deal with whatever may be over there. But um, I know for sure that uh, there is some, gonna be some cool stuff over there. And I may buy, I may buy like four of them. I mean, it may be a waste, but I mean, you don't, you get to a certain point where money is practically worthless. You don't really need it. Let's see. That's definitely not <laughs> the place we need to go. Let's see. 
Let's go this way, maybe. I know there's shops somewhere around here. Let's see. Down, 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 and then to the right, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So, let's talk to this guy. No doubt you will be needing provision before you go. Jens and I are the only ones living in this cave now. The others have all either fled or been killed. Let's buy what what can you what would you buy off of us? Oh well hey, you buy the long swords, so we'll we'll sell that. What else do you buy? Well you won't buy that. Uh, definitely not selling those. We can sell those. What else? No, I like I, I keep the silver boots to resist poison for now. Um, let's see here. Everybody wants the broken moonlight sword. Okay, all the keys. Okay, that's it. So, Orladen's key. I could like buy almost ten of these. I'm gonna buy four. It might be a waste, but I I don't know. We'll go ahead and buy them. So now we have four Orladen's keys. So in next episode. We're going to head back. I'm going to equip my, uh, well, actually, no, I need the aquarium boots to get back to the path of poison. <laughs> uh, anyway, we'll run back over to the path of poison and next episode we will, uh, see what's to be discovered. And if we have time in next episode, I will go to the earth cave and see if we are ready to receive the power of Shaddam. Until then, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time.